Hey fellas, me Trapper here. Today I'm going to do a video on Clint Locklear's Unfair Advantage. Now, Unfair Advantage, if you're not familiar with it, is a product that Clint markets and it's not a traditional lure uh, such as a food lure or a gland lure or anything like that. It's not a bait. This stuff is simply a glow-in-the-dark lure. It serves as a visual attractor. Now, the idea of a visual attractor or a flag in trapping is uh, well established. People use flags for bobcats. Uh, people use white PVC pipes. They paint their dog-proof traps white. Uh, all of that is designed to do one thing, and that's get the animal's attention. Now, even old-school trappers back in the old days would take aluminum foil and wrap it around the pan on a traditional foothold trap, sticking in the water. And the idea being the coon would come along, and in the moonlight, he would see the glimmer, and he would uh, become curious and stick his paw down there and get caught. So it's a well-established concept, but all of those um, implementations require an ambient source of light, uh, like a full moon or something. But what if you have a new moon or uh, a pitch black night because of clouds? That's where this comes in. This stuff glows in the dark. So, I've never used this before. It's the first time I've ever purchased any of it. And so let's take a look at what it is, uh, how it works, and are there any tips or tricks that we need to know about in order to get the best results from it. Okay, so here's what the jar looks like. And let's open it up and take a look. Hmm. So that's what you're going to get. And this stuff, it has the consistency sort of... Uh, sort of a Vaseline is what it reminds me of. Um, I don't know what the base of it is, what, you know, what material is used as the base, but it sort of behaves and, um, and spreads about like Vaseline. So if that gives you an idea of the texture. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken an old smokeless tobacco can and I'm using this because it's uh, nice and round. Uh, weatherproof being plastic and plus it has a lid that fits tightly so that um, when you're done using it you can uh, cap it and uh, keep it from getting uh, dirty and contaminated so you can uh, transport it with the lid on then when you're ready to put it to use just take that and embed it in the ground or um, wherever you want to uh, set it so let's go take a look now this is what it looks like the first night out. This is simply set on my back fence and you can see the pickets underneath um, where the glow is. What's really hard about making this video is that I could not get my video camera to pick this up at night. And so I had to take a still photograph. And when looking at the photograph versus what it looks like with your naked eye, it is much brighter with your naked eye than what it appears in this photograph. My cell phone just would not uh, take a good picture. But this is the first night out when it's fresh and this is what it looks like. So it's not a white glow but it's sort of a greenish glow and it's brighter than what it appears like in this picture. Alright, now here's the torture test. We had a heavy rain last night, so I just left this sitting upright uh, on my boat seat here. Let it fill up with water. You can see it's been sitting there all night and all day underwater. So I'm going to pour the water out, sort of dry it out a little bit. And we'll put it out again tonight and see how it holds up. This will be night number three. Now you can see after being out in the rain, the thinner portions have washed away, but the thicker portion where I put it on thick is still there and it's still glowing very well. This is the third night out and this is after a heavy rain where it's been soaking in water. So the lesson to, to learn, the takeaway here is don't put a paper thin coat of this stuff on. Put it on uh, an eighth of an inch or even a quarter of an inch thick and it's going to stand up to weather uh, rain and all of that much much better so what's the bottom line with unfair advantage 
is it some sort of gimmick or does it actually work? Well, I can tell you it's no gimmick, and yes, it does work, and yes, it does glow. Now, I did two basic test cases during the last couple of weeks. Number one was I took a smokeless tobacco can, um, put it in there nice and thick, and then I protected that can from the weather. And after about three weeks, it is absolutely unchanged. It is recharging every day, and it's glowing every night, and it's just as bright as when I first put it out. The second test case that I did, I took a smokeless tobacco can and I subjected it to the harshest conditions that we had. Uh, torrential rain, I let it fill up with water, I let it sit full of water for a couple of days, I let it get pollen and dust and, and whatever all over it. And the difference is, it's not that the material itself degrades, it's that if the, if the weather washes it away, or if the weather uh, impacts it in that way, then it's gonna, you're gonna have less material there and so you're gonna have less of a glow. So to me, it's not that the material itself degrades, it's that weather conditions over time will simply wash the lure away, which is to be expected. I mean, after all, that's gonna happen with any lure. The other thing is uh, it has absolutely no smell that I can discern. Um, testing it, uh, I've I've unable I've been ab unable to see that an animal reacts to the smell, whether it's uh, a domestic cat, domestic dog, uh, whether it's any of uh, the animals that I've trapped in cage traps. I've trapped raccoons, uh, muskrat, beaver, and then I've tested this on them during the day, and I can't get any reaction during the day from it. So that tells me that they're not smelling it. The reason that's important is that it's not going to interfere with any other lure or bait that you're using. In other words, it's not going to have a, a scent that's going to run anything off or, or throw a red flag. So when will I use this or will I use it? Yes, it's earned a place in my lure box and I wish I had tried this years ago. Uh, I just have to be honest and when I looked at it and I thought glow in the dark lure, okay, yeah, whatever. But after talking to people that have used it, and, um, I decided to give it a try, and I wish I had done it years ago. This stuff really excels when you have a new moon or when you're in a dark, uh, dark environment, such as uh, when um, even if there's a moon, if it's cloudy, uh, storms are brewing, and you have a very dark environment. Where I would not use this is, for instance, when I do beaver control jobs on populated lakes. You may have cars driving by on roads. Uh, you have houses that are right on the lake and they all have lights that are turning on and off. And I would not see the value in having a glow in the dark lure when you're in a very bright or populated area like that. But once you get out into the swamps, once you get out into the big woods where it is dark, this stuff stands out. The other thing is what kind of animals would I use this for? Well, there are certain animals that are attracted by visual attractors. Everybody's heard of bobcat flags. You know, the cat is going to be a sight hunter. And uh, so when you're dealing with a sight hunter like that, this stuff is going to be outstanding. Uh, the way most people use this on a bobcat flag is if they're using a, a chicken wing or something, they'll actually smear the flag with this so that as the flag is moving in the wind, uh, you've got, you know, uh, some visibility up there. I'd use it for coon. Coon are uh, attracted by visual attractors. You know, everybody, uh, everybody knows that. That's why you see people painting their dog-proof traps white uh, or glow-in-the-dark paint. Um, I'd use it for beaver, for otter, for anything like that that is uh, an animal that is attracted uh, by sight. So anyway, I hope this is useful. If you've ever seen this in the catalogs and you've kind of wondered if it was, you know, any good or not or what exactly it was that you were going to get, uh, check it out. Uh, I'm glad I did. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.